प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू यू आई पाथ एक्सपो हब चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन बी द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू वॉच द लेटेस्ट ऑटोमेशन वीडियो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मेकिंग ऑफ बर्थडे रिमाइंडर बॉट सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू लिटरली गो थ्रू द मेकिंग ऑफ बर्थडे रिमाइंडर बॉट वी विल सी हाउ टू डिजाइन दैट राइट फॉर दैट द सिंपल इनपुट दैट आई हैव इज द एक्सेल फाइल द एक्सेल फाइल वेर आई मेंटेन बर्थ डेट of different people my friends and circle right so this is a demo this is not a real data but again this is what my input file looks like right now in the making of the birthday reminder bot the very first thing that i'll be doing is to use the excel application scope so that i can read the input or the source file okay so let me first of all point this out to the source file which is in my documents okay so once i pointed out the source file the next thing that i have to do is i have to read so in your source file read the sheet right so birthday is the sheet which i have to read so for that let me go back and here all i have to do is use the read range activity from excel application scope and here i have to provide the sheet name so let me try to highlight this and paste the sheet name okay now i want to read the entire range so whatever data or in the future in case i am adding new data so it should work now let's get back to making of birthday reminder bot so here i read the data now the next thing i have to do is i have to read the data table so read the data table so that means control plus k so i am going to store all the data into data table called dt1 okay done so once the once it is done now the next activity is that i have to read only um, i mean i have to compare so let's say today whatever the date is today so it should match so if today's date is let's say 22nd right today is 22nd let's say 22nd so it should match what is today's date and if any of this names has the same date as the birth date then it should remind me stating today's so and so person's birthday right so that is the condition that we have to build so how do you build that condition so yesterday i have created the vv.net uh, how to manage the system date and time right so there is an entire series that would give a entire good knowledge as to how to build this how to compare times right so once you learn that then this will become a quick and easy task you can make this birthday reminder bot very easily so let's do that so let let me show you how to do it okay so the very first step that i have to do is let me use assign activity and remember the dt1 that you have created right <clears throat> now this should be applicable to so there are two two <clears throat> so this one should be applicable to entire uh, um sequence right so that's where i have ensured the dt1 is applied to the entire sequence okay so once you are done with this okay you are, you are halfway done now we have to just put couple of very simple conditions okay so this is where you require your logic how do i build it is the logic that you need to start thinking of now the very first thing is i have to read the column number birth date right or you can also define it by index number so this is the index number 0 and this is the this column is index number 1 so you have to read any any data that is there in the index number 1 in my case so let me get back to making of birthday reminder bot and here i have to do that so how do you retrieve data um, so very simple it is row so let me show you on a bigger screen so you can see that okay so how do you retrieve the data so for that all you have to do is row dot one right dot two string okay so just by doing this what happens it is going to uh, get the uh, data from the sheet from the data table right so now how how will it work so for that i have to have some kind of a looping right so that all the data that is there inside the dt1 should be able to read one by one so so the very thing uh, the loop that i have to use is for each row so this is used for the to loop for the data tables 
so now let it loop around all the data tables so all you have to do is i have to mention the dt1 now it is going to loop and read each data one by one right so it will read the first row the second row third row like that it is going to loop un until the last data okay now the next activity in the making of birthday reminder bot is i have to compare the dates for that so let me go back and use the assign activity and here let me create a so i will say birth date okay i have created a, a variable called birth date and here in the expressions i have to write so this is very important how do you write this expression so what i want remember your excel file has got year also 1988-87 right so i don't i cannot compare because this year this year will not be equal to right i cannot do that so i have to somehow parse or trim the data and only take this data right and i should be able to do it so for that there is an expression that you have to write so this one i have in detail i have explained in the previous video okay but again i'm going to explain it over here as well so the very first thing you know to retrieve the data you have to write a row and then you have to say one because one is the index dot two string right so this is going to pull the data now this data is in the string format i have to convert that to date and time format so that i can compare with the system date and time correct so for that all i have to write is convert dot to date time okay this is the syntax convert dot date time and everything i am going to put into the brackets so what would happen now whatever the string format is there in the sheet and everything is going to get converted into that system date and time format right so it will understand this is a date and time this is not a simple text or a string okay so for that i am doing that one convert to date time okay once i do this now what i have to do i have to manipulate the date and time i have to remove the year okay so for that all you do is write dat date okay now after this you have to now you until here it is in the date format right now i have to on, only want to get the month and the date i don't want the year now for that all you have to do is write date then you are converting that to two string what is the meaning of this why you are again converting to two string reason being so for after this one is converting into date time after that if i write dot date it's going to extract the date so it will not have the time it will just extract the date that is for example here it will extract 8 22 1934 but it's in still in the date format okay so now what i'm doing i'll write dot to string and in the bracket i want in this format so i want to first fetch the date let's say so in your system format right the, your system format starts with us format so it will be month so i'll say mmm slash dd so what is happening the entire data will be fetched and it will be shown you in this format like august 22nd okay so let me show you this so this is what you have to do so let me put a message box and run it so that you will understand what what is that meaning of the expression so let me put a message box and here in the message box let me say birthday right so when i put this now let's see what is the output coming so you'll understand so how it is trimming you'll understand so this is my excel file and this is how the dates are now it will trim and show me so first one will say january 29 august 30 like that it should say so let me run it getting it is very interesting so it's running now let's see okay it's going to start now okay you see jan 29 so what what that has done it is trimming that 1988 and showing jan 29 now if i click on okay august 30 and then august 22nd understanding so that it will be easy for me to compare with the system date and time right okay you understood this logic now the second thing in the making of birthday reminder bot i have to do is i have to also let me remove this message box now let me use another assign activity and here i have to do the same thing with the system date and time right so for that control plus k i will say system date right and here i am going to write the expression so let me again put this back to bigger screen and here let me show you so how do i do this uh, to pull the system date and time what is the syntax system dot date time okay system dot date time dot now 
that means whatever the time is now it's going to show but i don't need the entire time i need the only the date right so i'm going to say date okay so it is going to give the date now after this all i want to do again i have to put that in the similar format so for that i will write to string and in the bracket i'm going to write mmm slash dd okay so i am making the format same format as the before okay so once i do this so what is happening it is going to find the system so let me show you this also in a message box so you understand how this is being pulled so here if i say system date right it's going to show the system date so today's date is august 22nd so it should say august 22nd so you can see that now for all of this because it's in inside the loop it's going to show it several times okay so you understood now all i have to do is i have to put a if condition very simple now put a if condition so you experiment whatever i am teaching you try to do it on your ui path you will get to know okay now here what i am going to do if birth date right is equals to so this is coming from the excel file is equals to system date then that means it's the right match then it should show me a message box stating wish happy birthday day 2 now i want the name right who who is that person so for that plus row so the name is there in row 0 right so all i have to do is simply write row 0 dot 2 string okay is that clear so row dot 2 string if if i do then i should be able to get it okay so now i have done that now you should be able to understand right so now let me run this and show you the output so you can see wish happy birthday to nagesh show let me go back to the excel file just to see yes today's so what if there are two people let's say this person's birthday is also say this the similar one let's say okay so now it should say uh, Nagesh and Surya, right? The same thing should happen. So let me again run the bot and show you. So now there are two people. So how many people are there? It's going to remind you. So if you click OK, it will come again. So it is saying wish happy birthday to Nagesh. Very good. So I got a reminder wish happy birthday to Surya. So you understood how you know the making of the birthday reminder bot and it's quite simple and easy. Just that all you have to do is you have to remember the syntax and how to compare so please try all of this and create your own uh, bot so there are different versions we can make one of the um, uh, is that can i um, you know text automatically text to my friend right something like that can we enhance this bot to a next level so that is something i am going to come up so thank you for watching this please do comment what you felt about the video is it interesting what is your next idea what else you would like to see please do comment and myself rakesh uh, from uipath expo hub please do subscribe to our channel that is my personal request please do like all the videos that you are watching thank you you guys have a wonderful day